don't ever think I'm arguing with the nice people, please don't. I'm not starting on the nice ones because I respect you. But I'm not going to have people try and set me up for no fucking reason and try and make a fucking drama out of it just because of views and clout. You are the biggest clout chasers out there and you are vile and disgusting and you will be fucking caught by the police at some point because some things you do are crimes in that fucking reddit that is the truth you are fully doxing my address sometimes fully doxing my phone number fully doxing things which is really disgusting and not all right so yes i have your full names how about that <clears throat> and i didn't even have to look for them i had so many DMs, so many DMs of people telling alphabet exposed full names and and all of it. Because what they've done, what they've done is they've um they've shared pictures of me as a minor. Yes. So you know the slime pics? They made it in a moat in their Discord and I was uh, I was sixteen years old and they were posting pics of me covered in slime, NSFW pictures on their Discord, which is um C P plus a CP, so that makes them the nonces. On top of that, um, they've docs, um, <clears throat> tried to dox my mum's address, getting other people involved on top of that, getting my older friends involved trying to set me up, which is really disgusting, then emailing places to get me banned and then lying, extremely lying to them to try and get me banned. So I have to talk directly to the venue, direct, no, legal age 16 is age of consent in real life. You don't have the legal right and an adult cannot see naked pics of you if you are under 18. So I will admittedly say that when I was a minor, right, I did send pics to an adult, right? Happily, well, and I've always said this to the police, so I'm, all, I'm, I'm a little clear, because it's already been classed as a report, because I reported the slime thing as well. And they shared it everywhere, because I got, um, I wouldn't say, well, careful of how I word things, but I feel like I got manipulated a lot. And that person um, shared it everywhere. And it's all over TikTok now as a meme. But unfortunately, that... <sighs> Needs to be careful how I word this. It has damaged my mental health so much to have my body exposed everywhere on TikTok. I do feel like an absolute laughing stock and it really affects me. And I'm sorry for feeling upset about this, but what else can I do? It's really horrible to have your body exposed everywhere and to um, have people look at that. And even when I was a minor and people just don't see past that. And it's funny when they call me the nonce and set me up, but they're the ones that saved the slime pics of me as a child on their phone. Make it make sense, please. Why are you, why is not the council culture calling out that Reddit? Why are they not calling them out? Because Alpha Bro Exposed has a platform, right? So they have a following. So why can't you make an expose of the exposed? Okay. They're the ones who are now under investigation a million percent. And I won't be having Lily Mae Harris doing that to me, Adam Luton doing that to me, or Jordan. Okay. I won't. Thank you, Robin, for turning the comments off. I just wanted to calm down. I just want to know and to tell you, as a trans woman, right, I, I, as a, I hate my body, okay? And having that all over TikTok and every time I see it, it makes me feel like shit. And it makes me feel like crap. Every time I see that, okay? And it is horrid just to have people make fun of me for it or to laugh at me. And and when they save it on their phone, they don't know that that is literal me. That is me as a minor. Me as a minor. And they're laughing at it and they have it on their phone. And they're looking at it. You, you need to delete that if you have that on your phone because you are saving 
CP. And it should not be on the internet. And I am a victim of that. And it has already been reported to the police. And that was posted on Reddit. And that was posted... I've, I've had people threaten to leak pictures of me more. Saying if I don't give them £500, they'll leak it. Which is revenge porn. I've had people email me. I've had people... And these are probably the same people doing this. It is so fucked up to do that. Why is no one seeing that? Why is no one calling them out? Why, why do I have to be the one to do that? But it, but it doesn't make it all right for me to call them out. So what they'll do is they'll say, like, oh, <laughs> you're cancelled. But what, in reality, why can't TikTok people see that what they're doing is so wrong? And if, you, if, if, and if they were stopped, I guarantee you, things would be so much more better for me and your viewing. So what if you wanted a nicer live stream, nicer community, nicer singing, things like that, and not this talk all the time, to get that Reddit page taken down. I will be personally um, emailing Reddit myself. I have a big platform, so I'll message on my verified account to Reddit, and I'll say this needs to get taken down because is, this is putting my life at risk. Like, people have said doxing, doxing, and it's on their rules, no doxing on that page, but you've already done it before, so you've already breached, you breached it. I just hope some of you can see that, that's all. Okay, I've had a really, really hard few years, really hard few years on this app. <laughs> and it is disgusting. And I feel ashamed that my body has been shared everywhere. Everywhere. I feel ashamed, I feel embarrassment, and I feel so much, I feel so violated in myself. And I feel so hurt. And I feel really, really shit. Because it is horrible to have my body put all over the internet like that. And it is not fun. And it is really degrading. And I am so sorry for feeling upset. It's just very hard. And it's just having my mum at risk and people try and email places and try and do that. It needs to stop. I beg fucking God at this point. Okay. Thank you. No, that's valid. Thank you. Thank you for understanding. Thank you so much. I, I, I get, like, some of you enjoy the hay and I get, but, like, it goes too far. It does. Like, call me an asshole. I don't give a fuck. But, like, that. Next level. It's, it's beyond TikTok funny. It's police. Like, it's bad. Like, it's illegal bad to do that. That Reddit page has broken so many actual laws that it needs to be off and taken off. And that Discord as well needs to be taken off. Because Adam Luton, you are disgusting and obsessed with me. And I have your fucking Instagram, babe, messaging me. Your inspector. Yes, you are. Deny it all you want, babe, but you've already admitted to it. So I know where you are, babe. I won't ever reveal that pu publicly because that would make me a shit person. But you know what I'll reveal that to you? I will fucking reveal that to the police so they can see and find you themselves legally because that's the right thing to do. Okay? And Jordan and Lily Mae Harris, you are disgusting. And the police will deal with you. And laugh about it all you want. Find it funny. You should be really shaking in your boots because what you have done... Do you know what police said to me today? They said, we need to safeguard you. They said to me, I need to be safeguarded. They want me out because they're receiving so many calls of, of people from that, right? 
and there's and it's basically like oh worry about my mental health saying that i'm good to something to myself like they're receiving so many reports and it, and i hope loads of you agree and adults watching this it is not funny to waste police time like that and to call 999 every single second to just troll me to waste emergency services time and laugh about it like it's nothing you are not saving a life you are actually costing the government more money and ruining and possibly killing someone by doing that because what you could have actually done is you could have actually taken away someone's life where they could have attended to that where you have put me in a situation where i don't need the police but another person could be actually like getting robbed they, and they could have gotten, gotten hurt and they and that, that police could have been over there you need to stop with that it is disgusting and you're wasting energy on police's time and their efforts because it's a job to them and you are wasting their valuable time they are saving lives okay stop it you need to stop it otherwise you'll get in trouble yourself and police have already said to me they have said to me publicly they not publicly they said to me privately they said we can track calls so no caller id is not going to help you babe they have high technology they'll fucking find you don't be calling places like that <laughs> do you know what i mean no i do not bring it on myself Karen, you're 50 years fucking old. What are you doing here? Go look after your grandchildren. Go into a fucking home, bitch. I've got an accountant. I'm fine, babe. Relax. I know what I'm doing. You don't need to know that. Do you know what I mean? Go into your care home and fuck off. Apologies, but leave me alone, innit? And Karen, that's a funny, what's well, a funny name, isn't it? it? Works for you. I'm sure you're kind of that bitch that goes to the stores and complain about everything. This computer doesn't work. Let me talk to your manager. Block bitch. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So yeah, you want to bully me? I'll stand up for myself because I won't have it won't ever have it because i've had it really hard the past few years really hard really really hard and the police are on my fucking side with this they are because i've not had it easy they're worried about my mental health and they're safeguarding me because what they're shocked about is they're looking at everything and they're like this is insane for me they're like how do you do this they even said to me, how do you cope with this? Do you have someone to help you? So what they've done is they've referred me to a few places and they put a care plan in place for me. So I'm going to get mental health help, um, which is possible therapy, which is nice. So I've been, I've been referred to an adult service for uh, mental health. So I need to wait for a call and, um, and housing as well. Because I, 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 I can't, you know what I mean? Pack it in. Right, Alex King. No, no, let me talk. Can I talk to these people, please? Alex King, stop acting so fucking hard, thinking you're something with 1,000 followers, babe. Don't fucking come at me because I barely know you anyway. And honey, you do not look like a dwell. You look like a dull. So fuck off. Ugly bitch. And the ugliness is from your attitude trying to pick on me. Piss off. Insulting? Yes, I'll fucking insult you. I don't give a fuck. If you're going to be horrible to me, I don't give a fuck. I will insult you. Leave me alone. <clears throat> you tell them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Smith. It's just hard, isn't it? Like, people are so horrible to me, so I have to be defensive. It's obsession. It's, it is gen, general, generally obsession. See, look, do you see, when I defend myself, you are a bully. Okay, you have no fucking confidence to show your profile pic. Don't even bother talking to me if you don't even show your face. No confidence there, babe. Go get some confidence. <clears throat> Abby Shane to recovery. Right, you're older than me, commenting that. 
surely you would understand if I was getting bullied, you'd understand Abby's quite trying to recover. I'm not going to bully you because I see you're, you're recovering from something. Can I respect that? See, I, I stop myself. But what you need to understand, Abby, journey to recovery, is that I get bullied myself. And surely, wouldn't you defend yourself if you were bullied? Don't you see that? It's a human response, babe. <clears throat> it doesn't make it okay. Well, it doesn't make it okay for them to bully me first, does it? So why, why do you think it's okay for them to do it to me first then? Why do they get away with it? Why should they get away with that? But I get the shit. But why should they get away with it? How is that fair? If you just don't bully me in the first place, I won't bully you. That is how it is. That, I'm the nicest bitch in real life. I really am. But if someone's horrible to me, I will just tell you to leave me alone. Go away. <clears throat> it is how you deal with it. Well, yeah. But I'm sure that you'd probably come back at them. I mean, honestly, I feel like all of you, life ain't fair, Alfie. Okay, that's not an excuse for them to do that to me. That's not an excuse. Now you're making excuses for like, oh, life isn't fair, deal with it. Okay, how is that fair? Firstly, how, why should people who bully me get away with that shit? Why can't you call them out and tell them to fuck off or leave me alone and be like, kindness is free? Why, why can't you do that? But then when I retaliate, I get cancelled. Thank you. So if so, you expect me to take all this shit? No, honey, no. I I fucking won't. I will just fucking retaliate, and I will defend myself, and I will not stop fighting for who I am, and I won't ever stop defending myself. And because do you know what people have to do to me? They say to me, "Oh, you're horrible. You're this, that, the other." But the only time I'm horrible is when people call me something and bully me fast. So how, why should they get away with that? You know what I mean? Why should they get away with that? How is that fair? Rise above it. I get rise above it, right? I totally understand that. But when it's like my life at risk, I can't just rise above it because they've got my information. Someone literally committed fraud being me to a fucking hotel manager saying that was uh, they were alphabet and they ordered room service and they, and they asked for my room number and then they put my life at risk and put it all over TikTok. That's not okay. That And that was Jenny Johnson. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> and have you noticed have you noticed one thing? People have leaked my locations, but I've never leaked someone's location. Don't think I've ever leaked to someone's name. Because that ain't illegal to do so, babe. Don't make it okay though. I don't give a fuck, babe. Doesn't make it okay for them to leak my address. Does it? Doesn't make doesn't make it okay for them to leak my address, does it? Okay, you make so like these haters are now making excuses. It is unexcusable to leak someone's address. Unexcusable. Unexcusable. And these people won't take accountability for that. The fucking TikTok people are just... Where is your brain? Like, what is happening in there? What is happening in there for you to be so fucked up like that? I, I don't even get it myself. Thank you, Franny, my darling. 
I don't get it. What is happening in there? Like, what is wrong? Because, in hell. And we're starting. Got a violation.